my YouTube channel, Contagious Power Ministries. I am so excited that you are here. And welcome to the segment of the new me. My name is Wendy Payne, and I am so happy that you have come and joined along this journey with me. We are on week seven. Can you believe it? I cannot even believe it. This is amazing. So seven weeks you have been on this journey. With. If you have not, if you're just tuning in right now, I encourage you to scroll back on my page, find part one, watch right through, and just join along in this weight loss journey along with me. So we are about to make dinner. I am making salmon tonight along with asparagus and some roasted peppers. So I'm going to show you what I do. Nothing fancy, nothing special, but um, maybe this is something that you, maybe a different way of cooking. I like to cook as much in the oven as I can. I just find it super easy. I can just throw it in and I don't have to worry about it. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. So um, let's get started. Okay, so the salmon I have, I get from Costco and I absolutely love this one. It's called Marinated Wild Pink Salmon. I've only seen it in Costco. I don't know if you can get it anywhere else, but it is divine, <laughs> it really is. It comes individually packaged. And the best part about this is you don't have to unthaw it before you cook it. So I just cut it open like that, take the filet out, and I put it on my grill pan. That's it, literally. I put it in the oven for 375 degrees for maybe about 40 minutes, and it cooks up like a charm. So we're also going to do asparagus and grilled peppers. So we'll cut those up and we'll get them in the oven as well. Okay, so I just cut the ends off of the asparagus. I put a tiny bit of olive oil on the pan just so that it kind of just gives it a little bit of a grilled texture, just kind of cooks a little bit. So normally I used to boil these and I just find that um, when you boil them, they get soft and mushy, and I think all the vitamins are just basically gone out of the water. So by grilling them, they stay a little bit, a little bit kind of crunchier, and I just really like them that way. They taste really great. So, okay, so that is the asparagus. And now I have the peppers. I've already cleaned them, cleaned them out, and I literally just slice them into just slices like that, really super easy. I love to have peppers on top of the salmon. It feels so good, tastes so good. And I just, I do different colors, not for any reason. I just figure, you know, it kind of adds a little bit of color to the meal, makes it look a little fancier. The salmon's orange, so we got a little bit of yellow peppers in there and green veggies, so it kind of makes it a little bit fancier. Okay, and again, I've put a little bit of olive oil on here. And there we go. I'm gonna put all of this in the oven together at 375 for about 40 minutes, okay? My dog's hungry, she can smell it. <laughs> okay, I've got it in the oven. It's gonna go on convection. It'll cook for again, I, I'm gonna say 40 minutes in around there. I have it at 370 degrees. I've got some potatoes there for my husband because uh, he likes to have his meat and potatoes. As far as potatoes for me, I really could take them or leave them. Once in a while, I will do a uh, sweet potato and grill it in the oven as well. Um, when I'm treating myself, maybe I'll have a baked potato, but in all honesty, I just, I don't miss the potatoes at all. Sometimes, you know, in the summer, having some french fries probably would be really nice, but right now I don't miss them at all. So I make the potatoes for my husband. Some people say it's hard to cook when your husband isn't on the same meal. You have to do two separate meals. I really don't find that. I will make sure that I always have something that he likes, a potato or something, rice or something for him. And then I'll just make extra veggies because I will have that instead of the starch. And um, yeah, so it seems to work. He loves salads, so that works. If I make a salad, he'll eat a salad. So really the only thing is the starchy part of the meal is something that he has. So I really don't have to cook two different meals. 
I just kind of add to whatever it is that I need for my meal and whatever he needs. So it's, it's one larger meal, but that's okay. Leftovers are always a blessing, right? So everything's in the oven. Cooking, that's the best part about cooking in the oven is you don't have to stand by the stove. So I am gonna go make myself a coffee. It's a beautiful day. I'm gonna go sit on my deck while dinner is cooking. I'm about to do my workout and as you all know my treadmill is in our garage it is 28 degrees outside right now so it is a sauna in here uh, I've got every door open that possibly you know I, I kind of just did the garage door half I don't want everybody on the street to see me working out <laughs> It is so hot in here, but I am determined to do my workout, so I'm going to go for it. Uh, people go into a sauna to cleanse, right? So I'm kind of in a sauna just working out. So I uh, say a little prayer that I don't pass out. If I don't return, uh, you know I'm dead <laughs> on my treadmill somewhere, just rolling on my treadmill. Anyways, here we go. Determined. Pressing start. Determined. Here we go. Trying to get rid of some more poundage. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay. I did it. I got my workout in. I am sweating buckets, uh, which we figured I would be. But you know what? I'm super happy that I pushed through and I did it. And can I just encourage you? Yes, working out is hard. Yes, it takes effort. Yeah, there's tons of times where I just do not feel like doing it. You know, we can come up with all kinds of excuses. It's too hot, I'm tired, I have too many things to do. But if we push through, we will get the results that we're trying to get, right? So can I encourage you, even when it's hard, even when every part of your body is saying no, stand up, get your shoes on, and go for it. Whew, you'll be happy you did. I'm so happy that I did it. Feeling good? I'm going to go hit a shower now. <laughs> hey everyone, so do you ever So do you ever have a moment where you're like you know you need to eat some food? But you just don't feel like eating. Has anybody ever had that problem before? That's what I'm having right now. Um I had breakfast, I had a big breakfast, my regular eggs and grapes and um, prebiotic bread. I had my shake for lunch, um, but I am so behind on getting some food into my body. So I'm just kind of having one of those moments where I'm like, I know I need to eat, which is so strange to me. I can't wrap my brain around um, needing to eat more food to lose weight. It's a really, bizarre thing the science of it doesn't make sense to me but I know it's working obviously because I'm losing weight and I'm eating you know 1100 to 1200 calories a day so I'm way behind on my calories today so I'm going to force myself which sounds ridiculous force myself to eat something I'm gonna have a Greek yogurt and I think I might have a few more grapes um, just to kind of try to amp up some of my calories, some of my carbs, and a little bit of protein. So anyways, here I go, stuffing food in my mouth when I really don't feel like eating. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I'm just sharing with you my dilemma of the day. If that's my biggest dilemma in life, I guess I'm doing pretty good, right? Wendy, you need to eat more food. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
It's so stupid. I know, I get it. But I just needed to share the moment with you. <laughs> hope I made you laugh. If anything, I hope I made you laugh. <laughs> so today is way day. <laughs> I feel like we're having like a repeat of last week. Way day. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> um, so guess what? I have lost more weight. Oh my goodness. I can't even believe it. I am down three more pounds again. Oh my goodness. I, I'm like blown away. I am, I, I cannot wrap my brain around the fact that I am eating way more food than I used to eat. I'm about the same activity, maybe a little bit more, um, more strength training, more, more muscle toning, um, but the weight is coming off. So here's what I need to encourage everybody who is struggling with their weight and has tried all kinds of different fad diets and just do it and give up. Can I tell you right now? Yes, it's hard work. Yes, it takes perseverance. Every single day you have to choose to eat clean. You have to choose to eat healthy. Every single day, I mean, obviously take a day or two off, but at least five, four or five times a week, you have got to move. Yes, you're gonna feel tight muscles in the morning. Yes, you're not gonna feel like it, um, but you have to force yourself and the weight will come off. You just have to persevere. I know for me, I would go in stints, you know, a month, two months, maybe max, and then get frustrated and quit and be back where I am plus more. I can't believe the results I am getting and I'm eating more food. That's what's blowing my mind. So I want to encourage everyone today, persevere. Write it in the comments for me, persevere. Choose to persevere. You can do this. I'm doing it. I can't even believe it. So I'm at 19 pounds, one pound away from my ice cream visit that I've promised myself. So hopefully, let's pray next week, I lose that one pound and can go and get my ice cream. <laughs> Hey everyone, so today is baking day. We are going to make two ingredient bagels and maybe later on we'll do some peanut butter cookies. But two ingredient bagels, they need a cup of yogurt and a cup of self-rising flour. And apparently that makes four bagels. Never done this before, so we'll see what happens. dough here. The recipe says to break it up into four even balls, roll it out into a long tube, turn it into a, um, into a donut shape, into a bagel shape, then do an egg wash on top. We're going to bake it at 350 for 23 minutes and then 500 for two minutes just to brown the tops. Now some people can put on some kind of like seeds on top if you wanna put like poppy seeds or whatever like that. I'm just gonna leave them plain for today. Um, maybe next time I'll try something a little bit different than that. But um, here we go, next stages. degrees two minutes for 500 degrees so we'll hope they come out looking good okay the time's up let's pull them out and see Ooh, they look very yummy wow okay so according to Weight Watchers 153 calories for one bagel 10 grams of protein and 25 grams of carbs so you probably only want to eat one a day and i would suggest doing it eating them in the morning so you have lots of time to work off the carbs so gonna let those cool before we try one and in the meantime we'll start doing the peanut butter cookies 
three, one, two, three ingredient peanut butter cookies. Let's do that. Okay, three ingredients for peanut butter cookies. So all natural peanut butter, one cup, an egg, and a third of a cup of sweetener. So this is stevia, you use whatever you like, but one third of a cup. Mix it all together and we'll bake it up and we'll have some peanut butter cookies. Here we go. <laughs> so apparently I didn't push play when I was mixing all of my cookies that are now mixed. So <laughs> you get to see what they look like and how that they're on the pan. Um, just mixed all the ingredients together, the one egg, one cup of natural peanut butter, and a third of a cup of sweetener. Mixed it all together. Just scoop them out into little globs, and I'm now going to put them in the oven at 350, probably for about like eight minutes or so. I'll just kind of keep an eye on them and see. I used chunky natural peanut butter. I like the idea of having a little bit of peanuts in there. Um, that's just my personal preference. So it's up to you. Uh, I'll pop them in the oven and we'll see them in a few minutes. So the bagel's nice and cool, able to handle it now. So I'm going to have a taste test. It's, um, it's not too doughy actually. I thought it would be, but it's not bad. Mmm, it's good. That was really good. Yay! Success! <laughs> Go make some bagels. You will love them. <laughs> okay, moment of truth. <laughs> They've been in there for about 15 minutes. They took a little longer to cook than I thought they would, uh, but they're nice and brown on the bottom, so I'm going to let them cool, and then we'll do a taste test. Taste test time. Dun, da, da. Mm, it's good. A little crumbly, but it's good. Nice treat to have. So this came from my fitness app. They had a recipe on there. The bagels came from my neighbor. Shout out to Diane. She gave me the idea. Weight Watchers two ingredient bagels. If you want to research that, you can. Go and enjoy some extra little treats. Hey everyone. So just ending the video off with a couple of thoughts from the Word of God. But before I get into that, I'll just kind of fill you in on the past couple of days. Uh, so had a few little cheats. I'm going to just be honest and throw it out there. My mother-in-law made a pie uh, for my husband and I, and how do you say no to your mother-in-law? So I had a little piece of pie, so that's one truth. And then we had my parents over for a barbecue, and I couldn't resist having a hamburger. So there it is, my truth moment. <laughs> but that's okay. The main thing is, you know, we're allowed to have those moments of kind of getting off the wagon, so to say, but the main thing is, is that we get back on, right? So. I encourage you keep pressing on keep persevering even if you have a little you know treat now and again it's okay but the main part is the main important thing is is that you stay on track that you um, for the majority of the time like an 80 20 kind of ratio if I can say um, that you stay kind of on track so I want to end off the video this week with a scripture verse that I feel God has laid on my heart for all of you who are watching, and I pray that this encourages you. So Ephesians chapter one, uh, verse four, it says, for he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. What I wanna focus on in that scripture is that he chose you and he chose me before the creation of the world. So like, thousands of years ago, even before, before, before you were a twinkle in your mother's eye, God chose you. That's how much he loves you. He knows everything about you and you are important to him. So whoever is watching this video, I want you to be reminded that you are important, that you matter, 
your life matters and God loves you and he chose you. He knows everything about you. No matter your size, no matter um, your skills, no matter anything about you, no matter what you've done in the past, no matter what you're going to do, no matter what. He chose you, he loves you, and he wants the best for you. So I pray that this challenges you, encourages you today. Thank you everyone for joining. Don't forget, please, please check out my podcast, Coffee Date with Purpose. It's on all platforms. I'm on Spotify. You can follow me on Spotify, but check out all the platforms, whatever you listen to podcasts on, I will be there. Please check those out. Uh, I encourage you. Um, this week's podcast is how to read the Bible and understand it. So I pray that it blesses you. Scroll down on this YouTube channel and watch some of my devotionals. I pray that they encourage you as well. God bless everyone and we'll see you next week for the continuing journey of a new me and a new year.